Namaste. Hi. I've been teaching yoga asana for almost 20 years. And up to this day, I rehearse my classes. And today is no different. Yeah. So join me as I practice the yeah, program that I will be teaching yeah, tonight's class. All right. So starting in downward facing dog, please. All right. Hips high, head low. And then just walk the heels and just stretching the ankles, uh, stretching the calves, and then you might lightly sway the body there. Good. Rubbing the tongue around the mouth. And you might release the arms and the shoulders so you can give those joints some gentle stretching, bend and stretch. And then once you find yeah, that openness, just settle in the middle. And the head is folding to the chest. Yeah? And allow your breath to pierce your nasal cavity. At first, yeah, that first inversion, you might be feeling the breath is a bit constricted. It's all right. Yeah, it's a process. And this class will allow us to create more openness in our nasal cavity. And just staying, yeah. Well done. All right. We're threading the right knee through so we can sit forward and keep the left leg open minus. All right. And then just move in and out of the hip. Yeah. In and then turn out. You may lift that knee actually. And then roll the thigh bone in. And then open the hip wide. And like you're turning a knob inside the hip. Good. All right, and then both legs in front of us, right? From there, hugging your legs so you can support your weight down to the floor and then bring your knees closer to your body. And just hold it here. Good. And just creating that light stretch for the back of the legs, the knee joints and the low back. And then just gently move into circular yeah, actions, yeah, like this. Yeah, and reversing, just to lightly massage the low spine. All right, and we're twisting. Right. Left leg remain or right leg remains long, yeah, cross the left on top. And then shift your weight to flatten the back first, uh, easy. And then open your left arm wide across. You may use your right hand to support your left leg. And here we ease. Yeah. Good. So although I have a theme yeah, in my mind, sometimes it's good to have a conceptual structure, yeah, the order of the asana. And then although I know the ideal order of the asana, yeah, it's really best, especially for us teachers, to feel yeah, the sequence. And not just make up the sequence at as we teach. Yeah. Although, yeah, I know well most of you are capable of doing that, but feeling it before you teach it is the safest and the wisest yeah, thing to do. All right, and from there hug the knee. And what I'll do is I will just flip over. So your right knee bend instead of changing, I will roll over that right hip. Right, extending the left side forward like a counter stretch. And let the head fall facing your right side. And then, then you can bend and stretch the knee, moving side to side the hips. I always start my classes gentle. Yeah, mobility exercises, sitting and reclining, and then slowly building to some standing, strength and power, and dynamism. And I finish normally with yeah, either a back bend, a deep hip opener, or a balanced position. Okay, that's when it comes to us. All right, from there, rolling on the tummy. And folding both knees and circle around. Good. Because most of my classes are mixed. There are days that 
50 or more than 50% are like yeah, beginners and then sometimes yeah, regulars yeah. but the sequence is general yeah. everyone can enjoy okay, from there yeah. crawling the spine forward yeah, you may ease the hips and then leave your shoulders some light circling around all right, and then pressing the needle. Good. Knees are hugging together. Sit back to the heels, and as you stretch the spine forward, move your hips, and just rest in the middle. Okay. Good. Well done. All right, shift forward. Curling the toes and lift the hips high to the back. And we do the same sequence. You know, marching and swaying. You can even angle your feet this way. You know, like the <laughs> circular you know, pendulum. You know, and then bending. You know, stretch the hands if you need. You know, and lightly settle in the middle with the head folding to the chest. Good. Depending on yeah, the participants, sometimes I would do a couple of body here. Yeah, so let's try. And yeah, just one round. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, inhale, hips go light. And exhale back. All right, lift me through. Yeah, expect those nostrils to feel clogged. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you're full of blockages. That's just the effect of the sequence. And then notice the moment you lift the head up, the nasal pathways open. All right. And forward the legs in front. Yeah, same, same, same. Yeah, shift the weight forward and use your legs and the hands to support you. All right, and then do the rubbing again. Circle around, you might move one side and then rub it side a few more times and then changing. I love this flow, yeah. It's my personal practice actually. All that. Alrighty. All right. Yeah, left leg long, right hip on top, right an angle, and open your right arm wide across. Yeah. So if you are a teacher, you might find inspiration yeah, with this flow, some ideas to flow. No, I just don't change from one position to the next and do the same action. So if you notice, yeah, if you pay more attention, yeah, the pigeon knee is the left knee. Yeah. Now it's a counter stretch, it's the right knee, but it's not the, uh, the same position, it's a different one. Yeah. All right, and then hugging the knee, circle around them. Yeah, you might hug if the head feels heavy. You can lift the top and release. All right, beautiful. All right, flipping over, left knee crossing. Yeah, just turning around. All right, and then you fold the right knee behind you and circle around the knee. Good. When you practice and rehearse a sequence, yeah, it gives you that mental picture of how the class and the program will flow. Yeah. Even how experienced we are as teachers, yeah, it really helps. It's like writing, yeah, as opposed to like typing on the computer. Yeah, even it writing, physical writing, manual writing has this yeah, uh, long-lasting imprint to the brain. And similarly, when you practice, you do it yourself, and not just visualize. <laughs> Alrighty, and then just level now. You're forward, you're circling around. You can lift the side now. Yeah. Right, swimming legs, crisscrossing them. Okay, and then head falls, 
and then give your shoulders some rubbing, shrug and drop and then crawl forward like the caterpillar and then settle in the middle right. let's this time let's do a mild chest lift good the supported cobra all right and set to your hips and then hug them together moving hips crawling spine breathe forward and then take a nourishing breath in and exhale the breath out so that's the first sequence yeah i would normally have like between five and six uh different uh no, type of flow yeah different but similar they're cohesive yeah they're related they're not random yeah so one leads to the next okay from there come forward yeah tucking and then just balancing and pedaling all right this time we're adding the three like a dog lift right leg goes up and then just hang and bend the knee you can sway it all right kneeling again right knee through same 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 all right this time uh, what i'll do is to move the knee further across yeah and then roll that left leg inward more so i can cross the body towards the outside of the right hip yeah so you're crisscrossing now and what it does yeah it furthered the opening of the sacral lumbar region and paves way for the hip joints to open too um, but if, if this is too much for you you can just fold in the middle good because i'm thinking of a deep uh hip opener back stretch and strength component and balance for the class all right from there shifting you now both legs in front of us again same 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 now all of this time i will try and give the legs some gentle rubbing you might focus on the calves and around the knee joints lift the leg and give that leg a light kicking and then the other side too all right and then forward the hips again and roll on your back all right knees hug circle around all right this time we just fan to a bit of a side to side all right your feet may remain down and then just fanning them like this or you may lift them up and then move them side to side all right and then if the hips feel light you may add the knee moving up to your chest yeah. Uh, to stretch the sacral lumbar region all right just a few more of this you can reach that arm over so it doesn't get heavy for your spine and from there circle around hug and release and circle the opposite direction hug and release well done all right let's do the twist again okay right leg down left leg high this time left leg high or option to bend the knee we're gonna attempt now yeah to cross the twist with that leg open right. and spread the arm yeah it's like a variation of yeah the supta padangustasana twist yeah let us see always to modify you can use a strap yeah or you can bend the knee but I rarely use props, really. Yeah. Because for one, I teach in yeah, centers, yeah, gyms, community centers. Um, there's just yeah, one yoga studio I teach at. But most of my classes are really freestyle. Yeah, adapting, given the situation. All right, and then to release, hugging. You may shift there lightly just to release his hip. And then just a turn, right, hugging, circling around. And we flip over again. All right, crossing. This time we're going to attempt now to spread that right leg wider. Yeah, but feel free to bend the knee. All right. All right. Good. You can roll in and out of the head, bend and stretch the leg. 
you may rub the hip there so I'm thinking of like doing yeah shoulder stretch with this one right so the left hand folds square your chest to the floor and let your arm rest under your forehead good so you can breathe between the space and the floor and your arms yeah. good. and here you can bend the knee there for some compound movements beautiful all right and tangle release all right we're gonna counter stretch this left arm right open that left arm and then just flip over that shoulder yeah you can rub back and forward and if the red is that this just my, my way of stretching my body but i rarely teach this to my students normally i would just do this and then flip and then come back and flip over all right and after that release all right same as before and circle around hip to hip yeah. all right massaging crisscrossing good right, hands to chest all right you might slide forward a little crocodile there and let the head fall all right beautiful all right chest lift again if the spine is open you might lightly crawl forward or you can lift you know, to your full lord bambuka shanasana all right sitting to the hips all right and and back to the deflection all right. All right. All right. And after that, you know, we find our way to the Virasana. And you can cross the forearms there. You can just rest the hands and then shifting your weight forward and back. And let the head soften. And here I can give the neck some gentle movement and around the circles. Open and top. Okay, now shift the weight forward, curling the toes, and you can jump the downward dog already. And then marching, bending, stretching, pendulum. All right, left leg high, yeah. cross through left leg, and after that, move that foot across and turn your body across. To. Good. Good for you know, decompressing the sacral lumbar region. This um, type of flow. Um, and when you practice, you know, hold the position as long as uh, you feel like you know, your body needs it. But for this uh, sake of just rehearsing the sequence you know, just run through them but make sure they feel good all right and then moving side to side all right this time what i'll do yeah is i will extend the legs forward yeah reaching one arm up and to the opposite side and you can lift the side up and pull the thigh back all right and return but don't change right away i would normally do this to decompress and return the joints and you can do some circular twisting too okay and extending the legs again if the hugging together is difficult you might open them a little bit wider and then reach that opposite and then lifting the side and pull the thigh back and then you can rub that side there Alternate, you can roll the thigh bone in and back and then move the space forward. All right, and then back to the middle. Yeah, and mobility again. All right, and then transfer the weight forward. Right. Energetically, we're working the three here, bottom chakras. Yeah, now Muladhara definitely, the sitting positions, kneeling. The Shodishtana, yeah, the, the twisting positions in the hip openings, right, and the flexion, yeah, we work yeah, predominantly 
the core. All right. And we do the twist. <laughs> Left leg down, right leg up. Yeah, cross over that stretch leg. Three. And then set the moment there. With the leg open, okay, returning might be a little bit tricky for the low back. Yeah, so what you do, yeah, shift to the side like this and let the back rest on. Right, you may even tuck lightly there. Right? And when you feel that the back is open, you just flip wide again, all right, hugging the knee, moving in and out, right, and yeah, turning over the right hip. Uh, you can spread the leg wide already, or you can keep the knee bent. Uh, right? Or you can add that shoulder threading and the head tucks to the floor mm. stretching the back of the shoulders as well well done all right untangle open bending right arm goes wide across use the left hand to guide yourself over and rub in and out of the hip. That if you feel like burning stretch, you know, get out of it. You may mean readjusting the other body parts. So when you open, yeah, there's no blockage getting in the way. You can even lift like that. Now the side of me is very loose. I need to do too much of the adjustment there so I can work my way through those joints slightly. Bring them back. Okay. And then back to this. Circle around, swimming. Notice how mobile your body now. And then, yeah, we have been doing deep stretch, but we're preserving our muscular energy because we're going to use the lights the power later. All right. And then the middle cover that forward. You can lightly wiggle there. And breathe. And give your chest a light lift or the full lift. All right. And sit back. Yeah. Feet together, knees together, hips to the back. And side to side. Well done. And reach and fold. Okay, and rise it up. Yeah, remain kneeling. Yeah, you may massage your feet by shifting and gliding forward. You can rest your hands on top or cross them. Yeah, and just allow the heat to fall. Yeah, it's like a variation of the Virasana and then some energy channeling technique there. So you can pierce yeah, the posterior back. Uh, similarly, it's like the Anjali. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. And give the neck some neck. Uh, releasing exercises there. With the arms winding, you can isolate the neck. Open and stretch. Beautiful. All right, and body forward. And down with facing dog, marching. All right. Let's have a run through of the strength component that I will be teaching later. All right, right leg eye and step through. And then the heel down, second warrior position, the right knee over that foot. Good. And then just a few of the circular motion, circle away. Right. And then opening that left knee, roll the right hip inward. Yeah, forearm to thigh. Our hand touches the floor. Good. And rub the hip back and forward, down and back, upwards. Well done. All right, both hands down. Yeah, just turn your legs apart and then shift forward to the hands and toes. 
and you may match the legs and lightly wiggle a little bit all right open the legs apart set and rise then release <laughs> yeah. exhale down inhale up exhale bend all right and then reach over like this and you can lift the leg if you need roll in and out of the hip see yeah or you can keep them apart and open yeah. all right and then down to the body and then walk your hands to your right foot yeah and like a light pyramid open up and exhale and we're gonna do the press left hand is the pushing hand step and angle to the vashishtasana swim the hand down lift leg up and step the foot through heel down but instead of changing we're lifting to the vertical all right uh, you can stretch the shoulder when i teach my classes yeah although the positions are held longer timing sometimes yeah but it's good to move the joints while we're working yeah the stability of the other body parts yeah all right and then reaching forward the right hand cross and twist all right free your twist step all right right hand is the pressing hand circle round it's just a run through hand down lift the right leg high good and step it through between the hands right heel down bending forward warrior one all right and let me flow this one yeah reach and circular bend and forward all right open up and rest the hands all right flipping the hands you know, open the fingers open the hands and reach all right let's do this flow again yeah from the front inhale exhale down circle behind you reach like you're holding a sword open chest free your arms flip him and stretch the chest forward all righty all right arms left rest the hands and then square everything and we just flow yeah your vinyasa vinyasa is good yeah and back to the downward dog all right and then before changing yeah let's do a balancing position yeah. exhale down all right symmetrical balancing position easy vakasana all right step walk or jump outside of the hands and down all right sitting low all right you can just even uh, just stay here yeah, if you're not doing the arm balance flipping hands like this shake them right. releasing the shoulders there and settle all right breathe body forward all right so just have one quick yeah that's in five four three two one you can step back or jump behind you and touch the floor to restore you know just a mild chest lift and then sit back and lift the downward dog all right changing size left foot and step through heel down and facing across yeah you can give your hands some gentle recovery here and then flow again up and around all right and then opening the right knee reach forearm or hand to floor and rub the hip circle around the joints and you may give the shoulder some light rubbing beautiful all right from there hands down legs apart shift forward to the hands and toes hips and the hips and moving side to side all right open knee set rise exhale then increasing the fire now we don't have to go as fast as this i'm just running through the flow sometimes i would do that <laughs> 
you know, to release the hips. All right, fanning side to side there, limping arms. If you need to hold the side longer and rub it a few times, do that. All right. And then back to the floor. Open, rotate, and square. Right hand down, circle round, swim the hand, right leg up, step through, heel down, warrior one. All right, coordination, reach, and twist across. Breathe. All right, slide out of the twist, square, press, step, angling, down, lifting, stepping, heel down, reaching. Good. Good. Hands to the heart, yes, yeah, spread the fingers. Good. And stretch the chest, open the breast, one forward, and shift. All right, inhaling. Good. Exhale, forward, yeah, open and reach, spreading, linking, stretching, hovering, and opening. One last time, inhalation, exhalation, circle around the leg, forward, sometimes I would challenge by holding this longer, yeah, up to you, and left, stretch and flip and chest forward and stretch the shoulders all right hands to floor square the side good and do what yeah breathe and side press see <laughs> i forgot the sequence so it's really good yeah to work on those yeah, mobility exercises, all right. And just a little pyramid, forward and back, forward and back. And then step, and then touch the ground, and flip up, and <laughs> stretch back. Especially this type of law I'm teaching, since it's not purely just changing sides, and there's yeah, more happening in between. As I, I yeah, needed that rehearsal. It's for my students, yeah. All right, step, walk, or jump wide. Or sometimes, yeah, if you have the advanced students there, you can challenge them to yeah, a little jump up and step. All right, okay. Walking, flipping, you know, wiggling, like your pet, you know, drying after a swim. Arr. All right, and settle. Okay, coming down. Inhale, press into the hands. Thousand five, four, three, two. Right, step or step back or jump back and touch open and flat behind you good and I will finish with one round of kapal body four three two and one all right, sitting through. <laughs> and touch the floor. Yes, all right. You can relax after and yeah, disclosing. You can do your shabasana. Yeah. That's a run through of my class tonight. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. Yeah, let's finish. Inhale. And exhale. And lift the body up, spin, and relax. One more time, the inhalation, and hand seal, keeping the hands sealing to our chest. Yeah, let's chant the arm ones, you know, and buffer the lungs. Om. Good. 
Enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Namaste. <laughs>